Sometimes the videos, it's also an interesting thing of like, it's, it's the rap model. Like it's something that we have, as the metal world, we have grown to assimilate some of. And it's interesting to watch it like trickle over as the, the Post Malones and Billie Eilish's start to kind of mix the, the higher levels of music. And to me, like this trend of putting out 10 music videos for 10 songs is kind of a rap thing of like, it's always been singles heavy. They've always been quick and like sexy releases, whereas metal has been this big like album that is cool and exciting, but it's not as accessible to new listeners. It's not as good for getting people in. And so as when you're a new band, to me, it's like, yeah, keep pumping out the videos. Keep giving everyone a hook to come in and join the, the thing you guys are building. And then the other half of it, too, is like kind of like what we touched on uh, last episode is nowadays people have so much access to Spotify, Apple Music, whatever else exists, like Tidal, where now they're just focused on just whatever singles are out, and that's what they jam. Like less people are listening to albums in full now. So like especially in the metal world, seeing that happen more is making bands get bigger because that's more music reactors they reach on YouTube or like, because they're not going to react to the whole album, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to react to big singles. That gets access to people who have never heard of them before or maybe don't even know the genre. Plus two, um, it's just more content to post out. Like rather than, oh, here's 10 songs in one kind of like general thing, well, you can't really promote every single song. I forgot to mention, yeah, you are our first returning guest. I've been looking forward to having returning, and I had like a, a soft rule that I'm going to go through 20 episodes before I let anyone come back twice. So oh, I appreciate yeah. you coming and back. Dude, first, dude. first two times. Uh, yeah, we're through those, through those first 20. Um, the flip side there, to me, that's a really exciting change. To me, it's really exciting that bands are leaning towards singles, leaning towards EPs, three song, four song kind of things. Uh, to you guys, I guess that is a totally different version of the art. Like for me, that allows, gives me more work opportunity. It allows me to do what I like to do. Uh, and I think it's just a fun way for me to consume music. I think uh, that's how I prefer to consume it. But I get for an artist as someone who's producing the music, it's a totally different thing and that releasing singles is different than getting to write your masterpiece of an EP or an album. Like, where do you guys stand on that? Are you hoping to continue to release singles? Or are you hoping to get to a place where an EP or an album can kind of stand and have enough momentum to make it worthwhile? I mean, we're kind of half in half out of yeah. that because like the stuff we're doing after these next like two i guess groups of songs are kind of have an un unintentional theme related to each other so we there's a i don't know we're trying to decide if we want to do an ep based off that since there's like a loose concept but then again you know if what we're doing is going to work where it's like single 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 then we'll probably just do that yeah it honestly kind of hinges also too on how like these next two singles go because our whole concept, especially nowadays with things like TikTok and everything is so like quick, I need to get your attention in three seconds or like we're done. Like, especially as a local band, no one's going to see like, oh, Chance was put out a seven song EP. Let me go listen to every single song. So like, especially if you don't know us, like no one's going to sit down and do that. So putting out one song and it's like, hey, here's the song. Like, this, just give me three minutes of your attention if you like it, cool. Then you'll come back for the next one, hopefully. If you don't, then whatever. You didn't waste any time. Mm -hmm. So it's doing singles, I feel like, as band is really like a kind of low risk for both sides as the artist and the consumer. Because if you don't like it, then you didn't waste an entire hour listening to an album you didn't like. And if you do, cool. You just found your new favorite band in two minutes. And for us, it works because put out one song. And then if the next two songs we start to build like a fan base. Oh, maybe we can do three at one time and like, it'd be fine. So I think it also allows you guys to kind of find your sound, right? Instead of putting out 10 100%. songs, and be like, this is chain twist. It's like, well, this is our first song. And we'll write the second song. And I don't, I assume you guys have written more than the three songs that have come out. But even then it's like, it's still a growing thing. Whereas I think in an old model where you put on an album first, it's like, you're kind of cementing yourself into a place and you don't get that opportunity to kind of ebb and flow and grow with whatever makes sense to you. Definitely. Um, uh, what was the other piece there of, 